How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 5 in my QBasic series. Now um, in this video we're going to be going over variables. QBasic has two different types of variables. One's a string variable which stores a sequence of characters and one's a numeric variable which stores a number. If you've ever used languages such as Java or Python you'll know that there's usually multiple different variable types but um QBasic just has the two, string and number. So let's launch QB64 and get started. So we're going to create, I've actually already created it. This is the second take of this video. I, I uh, stopped the other one because I made a mistake. Um, so variables.bas is what I called this file. So create a file called variables.bas and save it. So let's start with the string variable. So I'm going to just put a comment here. Like I was telling you guys in the last video, start commenting, get used to it. So I'm going to create a comment here that says string variable. And now let's actually create a string variable. A string variable um, contains a sequence of characters. So, you know, letters, exclamation points, whatever you want. Now, any variable is going to have an identifier which points to the spot in memory where, you know, the corresponding data for the variable is saved. So, when you would initialize a variable in Java, for example, you have to specify the type of variable. Well, the way that's done in QBasic, actually, if it's a string variable, you finish the variable name by putting a dollar sign. If it's a numeric variable, you don't put the dollar sign. So let's just create a variable called hello, and since we're going to put a string in here, we're going to finish it off with a dollar sign. And let's set this equal to hello world. I'm going to put a comma. And then I am a space and finish it off with another double quote. I'll exp well, you'll understand why I put that in um, in a bit. Let's just hit enter. So that's our string variable. Now, um, just for an example, we can print out oops, all capitals. We can print hello dollar sign out and that will you know work just fine next is the numeric variable which we um, I'm gonna create one called age I guess so age also well, is equal to my age which is 19 so we now have a string variable and actually I think I'm going to put a comment here saying numeric variable. All right, there. So now we have a string variable and a numeric variable saved. We can do some math with this numeric variable. So we can print um we can print out, you know, age plus 1 sort of thing. So let's actually do that. Uh let's print out age plus one. There. Um, so that will be our uh, print statement for our age. Now we can combine these two, which is why I chose the uh, string that I did. So we can print out hello dollar sign comma age and let's see what that does. So we got everything saved and now let's run our program. So, you can see what happened here. It first printed out hello world I am, which is what we wanted. We wanted to print out the string. Here we uh, printed out the age stored plus one. So you can see that we had a number stored in there. And then we printed out um, hello world I am, a tab, and then uh, my age. Now, just to change it up a bit actually. Instead of that huge tab between them, let's just put a semicolon. Oops. Uh, oops. Nope, nope, nope. So I hit the wrong button. Now let's run this. So there, that looks a lot better though. Hello world, I am Adam. Or sorry, I am 19. So that's all I want to talk to you guys this time about variables. Um, actually, the one other thing I'll mention: once you create a variable, you can always reassign it. 
So uh, we got this variable saved here is hello world I am. We can change this. Uh, so we can change hello to, we'll set it equal to now, my age is, we just got to surround this with quotations. Okay. And there we go. Hello world, I am. Then it's 20. But then the variable, the string variable, is now changed to my age is, and then, you know, prints out the age, which is 19. So that's now all I want to talk to you guys about. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.